Google Classroom is another very widely used LMS, and that has not escaped our notice here at Explain Everything. In fact, we've even added a Google Classroom button to our app to make using Explain Everything Whiteboard in your Google Classroom that much easier. In fact, thanks to said button, you can skip right over the usual adding Explain Everything to LMS process and get straight to using it. Keep in mind, however, that you do have to have the Google Classroom app installed on your mobile device for this to work, or at least have a Google Classroom account if you are using the web version. Using Explain Everything Whiteboard in tandem with the Google Classroom app is pretty much the same, both on iOS and Android, so I'm going to cover them both together here. There are a few different kinds of assignments you can share, and I'm going to show you them all one by one. Having your students watch a video is an integral part of the flipped classroom model, and sharing a link to a video with your students is a quick and easy way to get it to them. The Explain Everything Google Classroom integration makes this easy. Let me show you how to do it. So first, you're going to head to the Library tab. And from there, you're going to go to My Drive. Navigate to the project that contains a web video link that you'd like to share. And of course, select the three dots menu to see the project details. Then you have to scroll down to the web video link section and select a video because there can be more than one. And then select Google Classroom. The typical roller coaster works by gravity, the arm. After this, you'll be taken to your Google Classroom account and you have to, you know, choose a class, choose the type of assignment that you're giving and follow the next steps um, in Google Classroom to share that video with your class as I'm doing right here. Want your students to work on a specific document, image, or project file that you've already prepared? This integration makes that quick and easy too. Take a look. Once again, we're going to head to the Library tab, although you can use other projects as well, like the ones here in my Recents category. Anyway, once you've gone to the Library tab, you're going to go to the project that you'd like to export the file from, and you have to open it. Once you're in it, you're going to select Share in the top right-hand corner. And then after that, you're going to select Export. Now you have to choose the format that you'd like to share your project in. So as you can see, there are a few to choose from here. But because in my case, it's just one image, I'm going to just go with, you know, image. Next, you can customize your export options. So there are a few different ones to choose from, like how your image is going to be, you know, laid out on the on the canvas and um, more advanced settings like format, etc. But if you're OK with all of those options or once you're OK with all of those options, then you can select export. So the list of available apps on your device comes up and all you have to do is select classroom. Of course, if you don't, then you'd have to select more at the end of that list, but um, it, it should pop up right here. And then once again, you'll be transferred to your Google Classroom account. And again, you have to choose the class that you'd like to share to and the different um, one of the different types of assignments or actions. And again, follow the next steps in Google Classroom to share the project to the class of your choice, like I'm doing right now. And that's about it. Working on group projects is essential to building teamwork skills, and everyone knows that two heads are better than one. If you want your students to work on a group project, you can share a cloud project you've created to Google Classroom for them to work on together in real time. Although, as I said before, you can choose another project, for example, in the recent section right here, provided that it is in fact a cloud project, but we're going to go to library and then to my drive. And then after that, we're just going to find the project that we want to share with our Google Classroom. Once again, select the three dots menu for project details and select Google Classroom, of course. 
And once again, you will be transferred to Google Classroom, to your Google Classroom account. Again, you have to choose your class, the type of assignments or action, and just follow the prompts here in Google Classroom to share that project with your class. They'll get the link and when they click on it, they will be taken to explain everything where they can complete the assignment. Let's see what working with Explain Everything in Google Classroom on a mobile device looks like from a student's perspective. All you have to do to access the assignment that your teacher has given you is go to the Google Classroom app, select the class that you're interested in, and you see the new assignment. When you select it, you see a link to Explain Everything. And when you select that, you're taken to the Explain Everything app and to the project that your teacher has prepared for you, just as you can see here. And here we are inside the project, and now you can use all of the tools to complete the assignment. Now that we've got the mobile apps covered, let's talk about using Google Classroom with a web version of Explain Everything. This time, we will need to start in Explain Drive. You can share cloud projects for your students to work on in the web version of Explain Everything too. Take a look how. So here, you're going to start in Explain Drive in your web browser on your PC. And then you're going to go to Cloud Projects and find the project that you'd like to share with your classroom. Select the three dots menu to see the project details. And from there, select the Share with Classroom button. And what will happen is another tab will open up and it will be your Google Classroom account. And from there, you basically just choose your class and the type of assignment or action and follow the next steps that Google Classroom tells you to in order to share your project with your class like I'm doing right now. And once you're done, you can just close the tab and that's that. Now, let me show you how to share web video links with your Google Classroom when using the web version of Explain Everything Whiteboard. Again here, you're going to start from Explain Drive that you have open in your, you know, in your web browser on your PC and go to Cloud Projects. And from there, you have to find the web video link that you'd like to share. So you have to find the project, tap the three dots menu for project details, and then scroll down to the web video links section and select the video that you'd like to share and select share with classroom. And once again, here, your Google Classroom account will open in a new tab. And then all you have to do is choose the class that you'd like to share with and the type of assignment and follow the steps that Google Classroom is telling you to share this video with your class. And once you're done, you can just close the tab and that's that. When you're a student, using Explain Everything in a Google Classroom together in a web browser on a PC looks like this. So you start out by having Google Classroom open in your browser. And from there, you can go to the assignment. And once you open the assignment and tap the assignment or click the assignment, you are then transported to Explain Everything Drive where you can watch the video that your teacher has prepared for you, like you can see right here. And it's as simple as that. I hope that this has answered all of your questions about how to use Google Classroom LMS with Explain Everything. Happy explaining!